If you're looking for the best chef knife, here's a collection you've got to see. Let's get started. At any time, you can click the circle for more info and real-time deals. Number 1 Most Popular Fustov 4582720 Classic 8-inch Chef's Knife These are the indestructible German blades that Hayward would take to a desert island. Both are made of slightly softer steel than the best Japanese knives, and therefore they feel a little less sharp. They're heavy and powerful, less nimble than the lighter knives, but they're both excellent at cutting up chicken and cubing butternut squash far and away, the best at those two tasks of all the knives I tested. If you cook big cuts of meat often, one of these is probably the best for you. And they're good all round. There's nothing they can't do. It's just that I find them less easy to work with and for some tasks, less than ideal. Number 2. Zwilling Professional S Chef's Knife 8-inch Black Zwilling J.A. Henkel is one of the largest knife makers in the world and has been around since the 1700s. They produce at least 24 different lines of knives. The Henkel's Professional S is one of their top-tier lines and is manufactured in Solingen, Germany, where their core factories are located. Henkin has also got factories in Spain and has a newer development in Japan as well. It's in Japan where they produce one of their latest creations. The Professional S is forged from one hunk of steel and with a bolster, a full tang, and a three-rivet handle. It's as classic as it gets. Although the handle's been made to look and feel like wood, it's not. Wood handles are no longer the norm, because most manufacturers assume customers would rather have the longevity offered by a synthetic material. Number 3. Global G2 8-inch 20cm Chef's Knife This was my first knife. I saved for it for months when I was in my early 20s, so I have a soft spot for it. If you're most comfortable with a very lightweight knife and want one that's easy to care for, this is the knife for you. It was the second lightest knife I tested, only slightly heavier than the Basoto, but it doesn't require special knowledge to sharpen. It's made of just one piece of metal, including the handle, which is hollow and filled with sand, which provides a subtle shifting balance that you don't really notice while you're using it. The metal handle has dimples to provide the grip, and while some cooks think it gets slippery when used to cut chicken, meat or anything juicy, I haven't found that to be the case. Number 4. Messermeister Meridian Elite Stealth Chef's Knife Messermeister knives, like the name sounds, are rooted in Germany, manufactured in the same very German town as the preceding knives from the Big Two. While Messermeister is not as familiar a name as Henkels and Fusthoff, they're no less revered for their quality. As a matter of fact, their forging process is closer to the older style of doing things than either Henkels or Fusthoff. It's highly recommended by Chad Ward in his book An Edge in the Kitchen as being super sharp. It comes from the factory with a highly polished edge that Ward claims is superior to any of the big-name knife brands. It has a partial bolster which makes it easier to sharpen. Messermeister has been a trailblazer in German kitchen knifedom. They were the first to produce a forged chef knife without a full bolster. Number 5. Mac Knife MTH-80 Professional Hollow Edge Chef's Knife 8-inch Silver Haywood calls this knife a terrific all-rounder, and I agree. Made in Japan, it has a hard, super sharp blade and a simple wooden handle that's extremely comfortable and feels secure in the hand. It's razor sharp for the reason that Max founder modeled the company's knives on razors. The blade is beveled to a very thin, very acute angle, which makes it extraordinarily sharp. The high carbon stainless steel makes it quite hard but also has a dose of molybdenum which lessens brittleness and makes the metal more flexible, less likely to chip. It's light and feels balanced at a shape that's natural and easy to control. It can chip and aid basil cleanly without bruising the leaves at all. It effortlessly bites through tomato skin and cuts a neat onion dice with ease. It supremes an orange quickly and precisely. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.